George Adam Rentschler is and was, in the eyes of many, the most important businessman in the history of Hamilton, Ohio. He was certainly Hamilton's most prolific entrepreneur and industrialist. During America's great industrial revolution, which would have been in the 1860s to the 90s, uh, he was certainly a leader in that. Uh, he probably employed more people in Hamilton than any other business, including many of them combined. George Adam Rentschler was born in the Black Forest region of Germany in 1944. These were terrible times in most of Europe. Famine struck many, internecine strife abounded, and Germany was in turmoil. His mother died in his infancy, so he and his father came to America. He came with his father to Newark, New Jersey when he was, I think, five. Um, he then had to have a job and he started working in a foundry in New Jersey uh, where he learned to trade and worked there, I think, for eight years. He then worked in a foundry in Peru, Indiana, and also in Indianapolis and in Cincinnati. And by that time, he was a very skilled foundryman. An Indianapolis company wanted him to come to Hamilton to run a new foundry here, and he came and stayed, left that company and started his own business, Son and Rentschler. In June of 1875, Rentschler felt he had acquired a complete amount of experience, and he formed his own foundry and machine shop with Henry Sohn, a skilled bookkeeper and office manager. Their primary output was shelf hardware. Hamilton carpenters and remodelers may find Rentschler marked shutter hinges during their painting and restoration projects even today. In 1882, Rentschler helped form the Hooven Owens Rentschler Company, often referred to as HOR, to meet consumers' increasing demands. Uh, his biggest business was the Hoover and Rentschler Company, uh, where they made uh, heavy machinery, machine tools, and cordless engines. A uh, cordless engine is a special type of steam engine that powered everything from little generators to great big factories. The quality of the cordless engines and the increasing demand called for a much larger facility. Rentschler was able to borrow $1 million from the Union Savings Bank and Trust Company in Cincinnati to expand his operations. The new building was completed in 1902. The facility featured traveling electric cranes, each with a capacity of 50 tons. The reputation of HOR was well established, and in 1911, six cordless engines were ordered to power Henry Ford's Highland Park plant. Highland Park was the largest integrated manufacturing factory in the world, and regarded as the birthplace of the moving assembly line. Two of these giant engines were salvaged in later years and are part of the main display at the Henry Ford Museum. The needs of Rentschler's customer base continued to expand, and Rentschler discovered he needed more capacity for castings, which led to the creation of the new Hamilton Foundry and Machine Company. Uh, they had and bought ground in what is now East Hamilton along Erie Highway uh, Mosler, Herring Hall, Fred Myers, the iron workers, the uh, Hamilton Foundry, all located there next to little subdivisions where the workers could walk to and from uh, uh, the shop or the offices. It grew and grew until the 1980s when uh, the foundry businesses all over America were kind of collapsing and it, it finally breathed its last then. In 1845, the company repaired steamboats and built sugar mills. Eventually, Rentschler's new company expanded into the machine tool business and had to find an even larger space for its operations and located it in Hamilton on North 3rd Street, north of Vine Street. By 1874, Niles Tool Works were making machine tools such as planers, drill presses, gear cutters, lathes, and boring machines. America's western expansion created additional customers for the Hamilton-made machinery as did the U.S. Army's and Navy's need for equipment and large guns. They made the 66-foot lathes to manufacture the huge cannons on battleships. The iron and alloy iron was melted and cast in the massive foundry on the east side of 3rd Street. In 1899, his company became part of a national conglomerate, Niles Beamant Pond Company, which became the largest machine tool company in the world. Its factories extended even to Canada, Germany, and Russia. Rentschler and some of his associates sensed a need for additional community banking services, and in 1906, established the Citizens Savings Bank and Trust Company, where he served as the director. 
The bank's main office faced 2nd Street and was one of the first businesses to occupy the new Rentschler Building, the building that changed Hamilton's landscape. The Rentschler Building was one of America's early steel superstructure multi-story buildings. George had four sons born in Ohio, Robert Peter, Gordon Sohn, Frederick Brandt, and George Adam Rentschler. Gordon, a Princeton graduate, started his career at the Hamilton Foundry, beginning as an apprentice molder and advancing to become vice president. Additionally, he became the founding director of the Miami Conservancy District, where he worked with the National City Bank in New York City. Here, he sold a $35 million bond issue to fund permanent flood control in the Great Miami River Basin. In subsequent years, he became president and then chairman of the board of National City Bank, now Citibank. Fred, also a Princeton graduate, had worked as a molder and a machinist. He worked his way up to managing the Republic Motor Car Company. Many claim their cars were the classiest of all. These cars were competitive with other powerful makes of that day. By 1913, the automobiles were equipped with electric lights and electric starters. By 1917, already a skilled engineer and industrialist, he joined the United States Army and inspected aircraft engines. Striving to get more power from aircraft engines, he founded Wright Aeronautical Corporation. He also established Pratt & Whitney and became the key founder of United Aircraft Company, now United Technologies. Although George Adam Rentschler had come to the end of his life in 1923, his enterprises continued and have left a lasting legacy. Welcome George Adam Rentschler to the Greater Butler County Business Hall of Fame.